everyone and welcome to Hummingbird as a Spirit Guide. For such little bitty birds, Hummingbird actually has a lot of information to impart. So if you think that Hummingbird is your totem, you'll want to check out my separate video about Hummingbird totems. If it's your Spirit Guide, this is exactly where you want to be. You'll learn something from both videos, no matter what your situation is, but again, there's one specific to your needs. And if you aren't sure whether or not the little guy is your spirit guide or your totem or even how to tell the difference or what the difference is, I actually have a separate video on that too, which is located on this channel and easy to access. So, hummingbird is a spirit guide. The first thing that most people who have hummingbirds show up for them are going to want to look at is their attachment to their routines, to a particular way of being to an insistence that things have to be this way, or it can only happen this way, or I must believe this, or do it like this. Um, the hummingbird speaks to flexibility. The, if you think about them as being such acrobatic flyers, they can change direction mid-flight, they can go forward, backward, upwards, down easily. This is kind of what is being asked of you. Hummingbird is saying, hey look, there could be some challenges and some changes coming, and the way you're going to get through them the most happily and find what you are supposed to find on the other side is by being willing to bend a little bit, by being willing to explore other opportunities and ways of being. And by doing that, at the end of it, you usually are a whole lot happier. If you dig in your heels and go, no, 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 I refuse to change, I can't do it this way, things can only happen this way then chances are you're not going to feel very good, things will become more and more difficult, and you'll just keep bumping into the same challenge over and over again until you do it a little bit differently. Now, Hummingbird also speaks a lot about our physicality. They have very unique metabolisms, and so this would be the reason why when it shows up, the second place you want to look is to how you are feeling and to how your body is functioning. Hummingbirds subsist mostly on sweet nectar, and so the first thing you want to look at is your sugar content in your diet. If you're not feeling well, is there a chance that you're hypoglycemic, not enough sugar in your blood, or hyperglycemic, meaning there's too much? Uh, is there a chance that you could be experiencing the onset of diabetes? Um, hummingbird, again, because he eats so much sugar, he's asking us to look at how much sugar we are eating and the way in which we are using it. So, are you eating a really high sugar diet filled with processed sugar and you're not doing what's necessary to burn it off? Um, or, on the opposite end of the spectrum, are you not eating enough sugar? Hummingbird will often show up to people who are on extreme low carb diets. And the reason for this is that we have to have some carbohydrates in our system to function properly. And if you totally starve yourself of carbohydrates, your body isn't going to function very well. So hummingbird may be saying, hey, man, you know, eat some bread or whatever your preferred carb source may be. For those of you who are all of a sudden going, bread, no, no, no. Also, because hummingbird is a bird that subsists on sugar, and metaphysically sugar relates to joy, you are being asked to look at the level of joy in your life. Is your life filled with experiences that make you happy, that make you feel blissful, satisfied, that make you want to get up in the morning? If not, that may be why you're not feeling good. When somebody comes to me and says, I'm tired and depressed, the first thing I'm going to be asking them is, do you have a reason to get up in the morning? Because if you don't, your body's just going to shut down, because otherwise, you know, what's the point? Why get yourself up if there's nothing that you want to do? Now, on the other end of the spectrum, is your life so filled with fluff and distraction and running around doing supposedly fun things that there's no depth? Do you go to bed at the end of the day after a really busy day and yet ask yourself who you are? and what really makes you happy. These are the types of things that Hummingbird is wanting you to examine. Also, if you are a Hummingbird person, you will notice that your way of being tends to be go, 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 unconscious, where you run around and you run around and you run around and all of a sudden it's like you are dead. And then you get up and do it again. If you have hummingbird show up as a spirit guide, there's a good chance that that is how your way of being has suddenly become, where you're finding yourself running around like mad. 
The key here is to remember to rest. This is extremely important for you at this time. In many species of hummingbird, their body actually goes into hibernation at night because if it didn't and they continued to keep that high metabolic rate going overnight, they would die because to continue going like that, they have to feed. And if they're sleeping, they're not feeding. It's the same with people who have hummingbirds show up as a spirit guide. It's saying, all right, you're at a high level of activity right now. That's okay, but make sure you get some rest or you're going to make yourself sick or worse. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you'll notice hummingbird is a bird of extremes. Perhaps you're not getting any exercise. Perhaps you're not moving around at all. If hummingbird shows up and you're not running around like crazy, there's a good possibility it's saying, hey you, get off the sofa. Go walk the dog. Go uh, run around. Do something fun. Dance. Whatever makes your heart sing. If you get set out on a mission to do exercise and you pick something you hate, you're not going to keep doing it. So look for exercises that make you feel good, that you're excited about. Even when they're really hard and extreme, if they're fun, you'll want to keep doing them. Now, lastly, hummingbird is incredibly unique in the way it builds its nests. It's actually this brilliant little architect, which you wouldn't expect. If you're familiar with birds' nests, you'll notice that some of them just look like a tornado dropped bits and pieces there, and then there are cute little eggs and eventually baby birdies inside them. We have one like that in our garage just now. Hummingbird nests are always carefully crafted. They're unique. They're beautiful. They really are nature's little architects. And if hummingbird has shown up, there's a good chance you're starting to feel a little restless in your current living situation. Maybe you really want to move. Maybe you need a new house, a new apartment. Maybe you want a new coat of paint and totally new furnishings. If hummingbird is showing up, this isn't unreasonable because what he's saying is, okay, there's been a shift in your energy, some part of you is different, and your current circumstances, your current environment is no longer resonating with you. And so you need to make some changes to your environment so that it matches your current energy and you feel better. I knew I had accomplished something really cool when all of a sudden I looked around my office and went, wow, I need new paint, I need a new desk, I need a new sofa, everything has got to be changed. In my case, this is a really good sign. And for most of you, it is as well. So if you're noticing this crazy urge to change your decor, to move, whatever, pay attention to it, it's a good thing. I hope this has answered all of your questions about Hummingbird, if uh, the buzzy little guy has shown up for you. If not, please feel free to contact me directly for a session. You can find me at my website, which is www.ravenlightholistichealing.com. You can follow me on my blog, which you can locate on that page, or you can even check me out on Facebook at Ravenlight Holistic Healing. Have a wonderful day, dear ones!